The fact that this movie wasn't even nominated for Best Animated Feature at the Academy Awards is simply criminal. Come on now, let's get to the review. Welcome back to the channel. This is Let's Be Real, Brad. I talk about movies, TV shows, and do all sorts of fun and exciting videos here on the channel. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on this video, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. Today, we will be talking about the massive Japanese anime film called Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaba the movie Mugen Train. It is a sequel to the 2019 season one of Demon Slayer and it was a massive box office success last year releasing in Japan. It broke tons of box office records being the highest grossing Japanese film of all time. The highest grossing anime film of all time. One of the reasons is because of the great and massive success of this show. Before we get into this review I want to give you my quick thoughts on the first season of Demon Slayer which I think is a pretty good show. I actually binged this show in like two days being my first anime show of all time. To me, it was a little off-putting because I'm not really used to the anime style, culture, and how the shows run with its structure and concepts. I have to say, I did really enjoy it with its amazing animation, great story, great characters. Okay, with that being taken care of, let's dive right into the positives, starting with the animation. The animation is just absolutely god-tier in this movie. They combine the 2D and 3D effects in this film that really just pop off the screen. I'm not really familiar with anime in general, but this is one that you can clearly tell that the animation is just absolutely phenomenal. It is so detailed. There is tons of blood. There is amazing, well choreographed action scenes that look so tremendous. And the fact that all these character designs are so interesting, especially every single villain is just so weird. And there was a lot more action scenes they were able to do just because they had the money to do it. And it really shines in this, especially in the second to third act, which I thought was just amazing. I thought all the voice actors did a really tremendous job, really accelerating the action, the emotion, and the hilarious moments this film has. I really feel like it was just on display and they were all working their asses off to make these characters come to life. I talked a little bit about the action sequences, but I really think they are tremendous. I mean, you want to see some entertaining over stylized action? This is the way to go. It is so brutal. It is so disturbing. Every single action scene is always like 10 out of 10. The cinematography is just absolutely gorgeous. This was one of the things I really loved about the show. Every scene that they're in is just so so good with the color palette. Another aspect I love is the music. The music is just so freaking good. I mean, it's all Japanese music and I don't really understand what it's saying, but it just sounds so good to the ears and it really accelerates these action scenes as well as the dramatic emotional scenes that almost made me tear up a little bit because I found it so powerful and so appropriately used. I also found that the story and the emotional depth this film has is extremely strong. I love the way that we we know so much about these characters and that we always see a little bit of a development from all of them and just being extremely likable. There's a lot of emotional depth this film goes through and that's what I also loved about the show is that we really care about these characters. They're not really super duper complex but you understand it on an emotional and humane level. This film really details that especially toward the third act which I was emotionally invested in this film and I had no idea how it was going to go. I think this film is extremely funny, just like the show. The jokes are always top notch, and I just never get sick of it. I really love this over stylized anime humor, but also I really enjoy a lot of the conversations these characters have. Now, this film does have a few negatives, and some of it is because of the original show, and that is that this film also does offer some of those backstories, but so much less than the original show. There are a few that do 
do feel very stuffed and it's more earlier on in the film that I feel like we could have just cut out. I feel like it was only there just to pad the runtime, even though this movie is already at an hour and 50 minutes. My second complaint is that the first act of this movie is pretty sluggish. We kind of get a lot of the main core character plot stuff and I really enjoy that we go into some of these dream sequences with the characters, but then I feel like it kind of goes on for a long time before really any action happens until any stakes are involved and I feel like we're just kind of sitting there a little bit even though there are great moments in that first act I feel like it could have been cleaned up a little bit more overall this is a great anime film that I really think you can watch on its own and just really enjoy it with a bunch of rewatches the animation action voice acting music cinematography are all fantastic in this film and I was just always entertained on what was happening in the screen but it works so well and it's so easy to understand and so accessible to anyone who watches this i know the fans of the show are really going to love this movie i am giving demon slayer mugen train an 8 out of 10 thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all in the next video